Yo, welcome to Miller Norse Commercial YouTube. Today, we're going to be doing a way too early to actually do one tier list for Fusion Strike. This is, of course, my opinion. I'm recording this on the 20th of November. So if you're watching this a little bit later, it might still be relevant and also might feel a little outdated because the online meta moves pretty fast and decks are still being worked out. So shout out to Zapdos TCG for making this as well. I'll have the link to the tier list maker down below. We're not going to rank all these decks because there's a lot of jank in here, but let's go ahead and go through it. Currently, tier one, I think Mew is the best deck in the format. The card is ridiculously powerful. If you go first, you can even beat your bad matchups, which is just disgusting. The amount of times Mew beats single strike is higher than it should be. It's not like a favored matchup, of course, but it shouldn't be winning as often as it actually is. So I would say Mew is the current best deck, but I would say that there are other tier one decks as well because Mew isn't that broken that it beats absolutely everything. I'd say also up in tier one is going to be single strike Urshifu Umbreon. I prefer this version. The Gengar version is good into certain metas, but I would rather play the Urshifu Umbreon version into blind metas, into larger tournaments where you might hit other stuff, you know, that kind of stuff. So I prefer the Urshifu Umbreon version, but I would say both of these are the current tier one decks. They are the decks to beat and both of the decks that I would consider playing first and foremost. So now we're going to jump down to tier, uh, they called it tier one and a half. I'm going to keep it that name. I'm not a huge fan of it, but there's no tier S, so whatever. The next tier down, who cares what they're called? If you care what the tiers are called, uh, rename them in your head. It's totally fine. But I'm going to go Suicune Ludicolo as the next step down. I think this deck is currently underrated. It is very, very good. Unfortunately, I think it takes a step down because the Mew matchup is unfavored. It's not an auto loss, but uh, it's not great. You definitely don't want to hit into it. So I would put that as the next deck down. My next one is, I think, an underrated choice, and that's Jolteon VMAX. Kind of like Suicune, I think people just put it away right now because they're like, oh, it's not that good. I think it's pretty darn good. The Mew matchup's not terrible if you're able to get a path Marnie to stick at one point. You're able to boss around them copying Latios's Dynap Barrier attack. That's fine. There's less Urshifu in single strike lists as well, which is very good for Jolteon. There's less Rapid Strike, which is good for Jolteon. I think Jolteon's still a very good deck, but like Suicune, people just kind of stopped playing it as often as they should be. My next one, another deck that people just aren't touching as often as they should, is Inteleon VMAX. I feel like that's the, that's the key to this one. I think all three of these decks should see more play, and these two should see less play. With that said, I'm mostly playing Mew, so I'm being a bit of a hypocrite. It's the best deck. But Inteleon VMAX feels like a pretty good deck. I don't think lists are refined yet. I think people shoved four Sheryls into a list, said, I'm winning often enough. This is good. I think we're going to see some innovation for Inteleon VMAX either in this format or moving forward into future formats. It's a pretty darn good deck. And like I said, I think it's currently underplayed. Next deck is going to be, there it is. Rapid Strike Urshifu, still very good. I think this is, I'm not 100% sure if I would rather play the Melanie versus the straightforward version, but they don't have the Melanie version on here anyway, so we're going to go with the straightforward version. GMAX Rapid Flow is good. Mew is fast. Mew might be a little too fast, but it's not impossible to go GMAX Rapid Flow, GMAX Rapid Flow game. You know, you have Escape Rope to get the Mew to the bench. You have Telescopic Sight. You have Passimian. Is Rapid Strike Urshifu too good of a card? Because again... I know this is the theme for tier one and a half. I think all of these decks are better than they're currently being marketed as for all of us. My next deck, staying in the same tier, is Ice Rider Suicune. Arguably should be a step or two higher, but I'm not going to argue the semantics too much of inside of a tier. Ice Rider Suicune, very good. Suicune, good. Ice Rider, good. Metal Weakness, not super relevant right now. I'm a big fan. I like the Ludicolo version more because the Ludicolo version can Oko the Mew VMAX, but that's not to say it's not good. I would like to start testing Ice Rider with uh, some cross switchers in it as well because one of the biggest weaknesses I found of Ice Rider or Suicune is your opponent knows if you can boss the following turn or not. If you don't have any energy on the field, they say, oh, you can't boss me. I'm going to make a play. 
where you want to boss me. And then it's kind of like, oh, well, now my Pokemon you want to attack is on the bench. So I would like to try it with cross switchers, and I think that might push it up if it works, or if it doesn't work, it's going to stay right about here. And my last deck in this tier is going to be Leafeon. Leafeon, very good against single strike, which is nice. Has a playable Mew matchup as well. I mean, I say Mellow, there's a heck of a lot of decks in this one tier. Yes, there's a lot of very playable decks. Next tier down is something that I think a lot of you may have wanted a bit higher. I put Gengar here. Gengar feels like more of a meta call to me than everything else. And I'm just kind of like, mm, I'd rather play single strike. But Gengar is a very good deck. You cannot tell me that, you know, you don't think Gengar can beat a lot of things. Gengar's got a good Mew matchup. It's also got some good matchups against other stuff that you're going to run into occasionally. It does take some tough things against like, let's say, Leafeon, for example, or Inteleon could be a tough one as well. But you have the Umbreon in there, which can kind of fix some stuff. You diversify your weakness still. You don't hit anything else for weakness, but I think it's a solid deck. I think it's, again, played more than it should be. I'd rather see some of these played, but Gengar is good. If you told me you're taking Gengar to a tournament, I can't tell you no. I'd like to tell you no because I'm going to play Mew, but I can't tell you no. You have the best matchup into the BDIF. So that's never a bad thing. Next one, Zacian. Zacian Zamazenta. <laughs> it's always going to be good. Uh, Mew has a shred attack. So Max Miracle for 130 damage hits into Zamazenta, but you can Crystal Cave it off. You can have a Cape or a Rusted Shield on the Zam. So it's not the worst thing in the world. And of course, Zacian hits really, really hard. So I definitely like <laughs> Zacian Zamazenta still but I'm not in love with the deck. Next one down, I just saw it. Duraludon. I think Duraludon is a deck that, if people can refine the lists, is going to come in and out of the meta. It's going to be like Decidueye used to be, of like, oh, Decidueye's good. No, Decidueye's bad. Oh, Decidueye's good. No, Decidueye's bad. I think Duraludon's going to be the same, where it's going to occasionally show up and be like, oh yeah, wait, I forgot to play enough basic energies to beat this thing. And I like the Alex Shemansky list where it's got the Zoroark and it's got a bunch of other little shenanigans in it, like the Bronzong and things like that. So I think Duraludon is a good play for sure, but you have to time the call correctly. Next one, Shadow Rider. Shadow Rider is very good. Shadow Rider got second in the full grip tournament because it's a good, consistent, hard-hitting deck. I think my biggest issue with Shadow Rider is dark decks are going to see more and more play. I don't have a lot of dark decks up here. Because I think if you're going to counter Mew, you play Urshifu, or you play Umbreon, or you go completely rogue as well. And rogue decks aren't on here that I'm thinking of, which is the uh, Ross Coffin deck, Hoopa, Galarian, Moltres. I made a YouTube video of it a couple weeks ago. I think that's a pretty darn good deck. But I'd say Shadow Riders, good, consistent. Problem is, can be a bit slow, which is kind of ridiculous to say, but... Mew's able to hit harder and faster than Shadow Rider. Al Creamy's a good card, so you can't ever count it out. Uh, Underworld Door. Yeah, Underworld Door is a really good ability. I was getting confused with Distortion Door from Lost Thunder Giratina. So, good card. Good deck. Sableye. I love Sableye. My biggest complaint with Sableye is sometimes you just have to go, I evolve into Weezing and hope for the best. That's a big complaint I have. Surprisingly, the Mew matchup isn't as good as I hoped it would be. The Dragapult matchup was always really favored for Weezing, and I was like, oh, Mew's got to be about the same. Mew is a harder matchup than Dragapult used to be. So again, very good deck. You can beat a lot of stuff. The single strike matchup's not too bad, actually. Uh, a lot of other matchups are good. Weezing, of course, is a really good card, and you can win matchups you shouldn't win because of the Weezing, but it definitely took a hit because the meta has changed just enough where it's not quite as good we can dragapult i'm gonna throw dragapult next uh just play mew if you're gonna play a dark week deck you play mew or i'd play shadow rider over dragapult you can still play Polt. you can still probably cut a tournament if you play Polt, but uh not my favorite thing in the world Hershey galarian moltres is going to come in next again playable solid but i think there's just a straight better version that's most of the theme here is just better versions of other decks I'd rather play Mew if I'm playing Dark Week. I'd rather play the other Urshifu. I'd rather play Urshifu Single Strike over this list. But, you know, they are options. These are all viable, viable, viable decks. Don't say, oh, Mello, put it in Tier 2. Tier 2 in this current meta means if you make the correct meta call, you could have the best deck in the room. If you're just blindly playing it, sometimes you'll get lucky and sometimes you won't. And that's totally fine. Sometimes you play a deck to a tournament and you say, oh, wait. 
I don't actually beat what most people are playing. It's not the best. Um, my last one I'm going to throw in here. I guess this works. Sylveon Blaziken. I'm not sure which Sylveon build is the best, but a Sylveon build definitely has to be up here. The Moltres build might just be better. The only time I've lost to Sylveon as Mew is when they're able to, they pop off a bit, but they're able to get down, you know, a couple Moltreses and they're able to get the turn to KO on my Mew VMAX. So I think Sylveon is still a good deck for sure. Um, oh my gosh, I completely missed another one. Victini deserves to be on here as well. Yeah, that's right. We're just, we're throwing even more decks into the playable medical category. Uh, I think Victini is just a worse Mew. You just want to boss and hit for 210, or in this case, 220 every single turn. I'd rather play Mew personally, but with that said, King's a good deck. I wouldn't not play Victini, but uh, I'd rather play Mew. Mew can beat its weaknesses. Victini takes a pretty tough Suicune matchup, and I think Suicune, and of course Ice Rider Suicune, should be played a bit more. Tier 3. These are playable decks. I wouldn't personally run to them immediately. But uh, I'm going to throw that, I'm going to throw that, I'm going to throw this as well. This deck's not terrible, not great, but it's not terrible. But these are definitely things that I think can win games, can show up top cut a tournament, but I wouldn't rely heavily on them actually winning. I'm trying to make sure that there's nothing else I'm missing from this list before we shove everything else into the don't play this list. Why is Decidui here? Because Max Miracle has a shred or is a shred attack. They Oko you with a power tablet or a vitality band. And of course they have Hound Dooms and they have Inteleons. Decidueye's time is not now. Let's all roll out. I wish it was good. It's not. I don't even know what Deoxys deck is. Chandelure needs some tools. This is just bad Sableye. I'd play Sableye over that. Actually, this should be up here. This is a pretty solid deck. Uh, you play with the Toxtricities and the Metal Saucers. Like I said, these are you can top cut with these. Maybe win if you get a pretty lucky, but these are all definitely playable decks. If these are some of your favorite decks, you going for it. If you want to win a tournament, I'd try and move up to any of the tier two, tier one and a half, or tier one decks. I think all of these are capable of winning tournaments. All of these are like, oh, Melo, I'm going to main this for the entire Fusion Strike meta. That's fine. You can go ahead and do that. Corviknight, this is an interesting one. I'm not 100% sure where this one belongs. Uh, I'm going to currently play it in tier three because I think. It can be a meta-ish deck if played flawlessly. There's enough time to actually play the game. One of the issues is a lot of tournaments are best of 130 minutes right now. It's tough to win a stall matchup in the best of 130 minutes. But Corviknight, another deck that I think is possibly playable. I don't think that's playable. I wish Sandicana were good. Beakavolt's trash. I don't even know. Just don't, don't bother with that. Rayquaza bad. Reggie Drago is one that could be up here, but I'm going to throw it down here. I wish Inteleon were better. I wish these all were better, but unfortunately they're not. So there is that final tier list. Like I said, tier one, play it with zero hesitation. Tier one and a half, I'd probably play it with zero hesitation. Just acknowledge that there might be two overall better decks, but I'd say any of these eight decks up here, I am 100% confident you can bring those to a tournament and win the tournament no matter what the meta might be, or within reason, no matter what the meta might be. These, what, three, six, nine decks right here in tier two, very good decks. You need to hit into the right meta, but all of them can, again, win a tournament if you just kind of hit into the right meta or you make the right meta call. All nine of these are very good. These six, they're playable, not amazing, but you could top cut with them potentially. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. All the other YouTube stuff, and uh, I'll try and do an updated one of these in a few weeks once some lists get a little more refined. Comment below everything you disagree with or agree with potentially. Maybe you agree, Mew and Single Striker, the BDIF. Let me, let me know I'm on the right path because I definitely think so from what I've played. But uh, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.